Why are power plants so dang expensive? <laughs> Larry in Colton, California is asking that question. Why are power plants so expensive? You always talk about diminishing returns. Let's hear it. I don't perceive you to be a snake oil salesman. Thank you. Uh, I, and I love your videos. Why, thank you again. I'm going to drink the Kool-Aid and buy some M700s and a grain, and grain cell, oh, and a gain cell. And probably a Stellar Phono preamp when I can afford that. Good choices. Tell me why I should buy some kind of power plant. All right. This is the P20. It's the most expensive power plant we make. It's $10,000. I mean, for it, now this is a beast. <coughs> Many people say it looks like a microwave oven. <laughs> it always cracks me up. Kind of looks like a microwave. You pull that open and, and it, as, as people who, who watch this video series may know, our prices are a direct reflection of parts cost and, and labor and, and you know, all the things that go into building a product to take it from a, 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 a heap of parts into a finished product in a box on the shelf. It costs X amount to do that for a particular product and we multiply it out to cover our expenses, hopefully to make a little bit of profit on it, and that's the price you pay. So this $10,000 product costs a lot more than this, oh, Jesus, <laughs> I forgot, these things are heavy. This is a power plant too, and I don't know what it costs. It's like 4,000 or something. Um, and, geez, geez, oh, anyway, sorry. Um, there's less stuff in that and more stuff in this. I'm not sure that that is an adequate answer because why are there so many expensive parts? What makes this thing so dang expensive? Well, it is a complete amplifier. It's no few, it has no fewer parts than a, a complete power amplifier of, of any kind. So inside of this are big power transformers, tons of output transistors, big heat sinks along the side here that you can see, um, microprocessors to run it, signal circuitry to make the sine wave and to do all these calculations and stuff and all the outlets on the back. I mean, this is a full-blown power amplifier. It isn't like a conditioner. So a power conditioner, now those can be expensive too, but generally I question how much those are actually a reflection of parts cost as much as what, what we do, but I question that with a lot of companies. <laughs> but inside of a typical power conditioner, you have you know coils of wire and capacitors and not so expensive stuff. Inside of this, it's, again, it's a full power amplifier with everything. Power supply, capacitors, transistors, uh, diode bridges, you know, everything that goes into a power amp. It is a power amplifier. That's essentially what a power plant is. It's a regenerative device, but it does that by being a power amp, and that power amp's output, instead of going to a speaker, it goes to a plug on the back and powers your equipment. So. That's why this cost $10,000. And if this was an amplifier, it would still cost $10,000 because it's the same stuff, right? Just configured different. Why should you buy a power plant for your system? I really am an advocate of getting it right from the foundation. So you don't have to. I mean, if but let's, let's, let's try and put this in perspective. If the choice, if you had a limited budget and the choice was, you know, get your, what you were gonna go for some 700s and, and a Stellar Phono, um, if, if you can afford those, that's a great system, right? So don't compromise on that. If it meant that you'd have to get some cheaper Phono stage in order to get a power plant, then don't get the power plant because the, these core products are more important.
But in order to get the most out of them that you can, you need reliable, regulated, low impedance, low distortion power to drive these. And the difference that you hear when you have a setup is immediate, it's not only noticeable, it's obvious. So my recommendation, get set up, get used to the system, and come back to us and grab, you don't have to grab one of these, grab, you know, you're gonna get stellar stuff, grab a P3. P3 is kind of about that size. We'll send it to you. You can play with it for a month. See what it see what it does. If it doesn't, if it's not worth at least as much as you paid for it, if not more, send it back. You're out nothing. We even cover the shipping both ways. So it's hard to go wrong. Um, it either works for you or it doesn't. But in my opinion and in my experience, it absolutely works wonders, miracles, however you want to put it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the question. Good luck with your system. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.